This show continues to amaze me in the ways that it can be so refreshing, just like the vending machine drinks. The dude battled off the monsters using Mentos and Cola Bottle. I thought that they were gonna give like buff providing food and drinks so that the party gets all OP and they can fight, but it'd be kind of generic and boring to handle shit like this, huh? It surprised me. Once again, I hope it continues to do so. Let's begin today's reaction, though. Village is under attack? Oh shit, emergency mission. I love how she's still walking. I'm sure they'll be fine, right? Is that gonna be a dark anime where people... Technically, her party got wiped except her. Hmm. Hello there. <laughs> you telling her to insert coins? Okay, okay, okay. I thought she was... He said, I'm gonna need to tell her something to console her. Please, insert coins. Give me your fucking money. <laughs> Move forward. Amazing. She can just interpret everything he says perfectly. Warning. Okay, calm down. He, he did not tell you to calm down. <laughs> he definitely didn't say that. I know he implied it, but like, she can understand exactly what he's saying. Whoa. Two-headed snake? It looks like shit went down, but it's fine. Okay, every, everything's good. Everything's good. These two are the first guards that we met, right? Transfer circle. Right. So, this is more like plot important shit where everything here is like a dungeon. It's like instances. And they talked about a transfer circle too. Oh, it's the ojo sama in the background too with the curly hair. What is she up to? She's definitely different. Why are those guys wearing black suits like bodyguards, but everyone else is wearing like old clothing? Did you see that? We should have made the snake fight the frog. Are we eating the snake meat right now? <laughs> I don't know. Is that showing respect to your enemies? I don't know. Is that like BM? Isn't that kind of like teabagging on your opponents? You kill them, then you eat them? There's different ways to kind of interpret that, I guess. She is drunk. We're a machine. We can't drink. She is so drunk. Why do I have a feeling that she's going to make a move on Boxo? <laughs> it's, it's an inanimate object. It's not inanimate, but it's a machine. I'm just thinking, how are they going to make love? I'm, I'm thinking too much, right? Like, there's no way she's making moves on Boxo. It's just... She's drunk. She's just talking drunk. I wonder if there's Rules 34 or Art already made of Boxo and her... I bet there is, man. Oh no, I don't want to think about it. I'm thinking about it. Personal request just sounds like more work for no pay. What? What is it? Wow. We gotta do fucking more chores. What'd I say? This extra fucking work. That's right, she's super strong. She's ridiculously strong. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What is it? The blessing of might. Right. She still has an issue with balance. Remember how she fought with the vending machine on her back? So because there's more weight behind, she was able to control and actually hit the frogs? Hmm. They don't have a very good uh, impression of him. The captain's not shady, but he might kind of seem like a sleazeball. No. No. He has his eyes on Boxer the most, right? Yeah. Rejected. We're better. I don't know. Are they really just like a top guild? Uh, sorry, top party? She's not even thinking about the clout, huh? Doesn't care. I think her and Boxer is too good for that party, though. I don't know. Oh my god. Wait. Wait, we have, we have gacha now? We're gambling? <laughs> I love how it's always the old people that fucking loves gambling. Like, you go to Vegas or any, like, pachinko bar or any place with slots, it's just the rows of old people just ching, ching, ching. Genius. That's right. That's, you know what they say about gambling, right? People often quit right before they win. Don't give up, guys. <laughs> it's definitely not called gambler's fallacy. 
Come on, you spent already so much money. How are you gonna win it back? The luck is gonna hit. Hmm. What is today? Kulami, the other magical engineer or something. We got. She got mentioned in episode one, but still haven't met her yet. Surely. Who is this? Oh, hello. My favorite character design so far. Kind of big titty, big sister design, yeah? Is she maybe the guild receptionist girl? Have we met her before? Am I forgetting something? I think so. It transformed again. What, what is this? I'm not familiar with this. Outlet. What? Is that a condom? It's a fucking condom! Yeah. Hey yo! <laughs> Don't careful! Careful! Healthy family planning! Oh my god, it's actually a condom! Mr. Bear, you wanna show Hey, you wanna show how it works? <laughs> you fucking degenerate! She has no idea what it is! Instructions? <laughs> okay. How are you gonna test? You don't have a dick, do you? Huh? Yeah, it will. Sexual diseases? I can't believe we're fucking selling condoms. <laughs> you motherfucker. You know what? The Riz is immaculate. He's very horny right now. Is this the Ojo-sama again? The curly hair girl? It's her! What the fuck?! What? what are you doing? What are you doing with the rocks? All we did was talk, but... It's really interesting. How there's people in suits here. Miss Suri. Like, I don't know, a suit seemed very modern. But this is like an ancient, I don't know, adventure kind of world, right? So, very rich girl, daddy neglects her. What does she want with Box though? It's on the house. What was she trying to do with the rock? Was she trying to put the rocks in Box though? We can be friends, you know? Maybe she's lonely. I don't know. Oh. Wait, what's going on here? This is like a hot, hot spring bath, I think. <laughs> you, this fucking guy. What do you? What is this? Men's underwear. Dude, the versatility is insane. Man, in campfire cooking in another world, shampoo products were so luxurious products, right? They could sell for so high. You've been shedding? Shirley, is that you? Never mind. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I thought it was Shirley talking. Okay, this is complete furry territory. This isn't even like fox or raccoon girls. They're just full on animals. Your furry's eating good right now. Hey, yo! Don't worry, we got condoms now, guys. <laughs> The brown kind? What are they drinking? Some kind of like alcoholic beverage? Coffee flavored milk. Nice choice, Shirley. I guess it's a culture in bathhouses to be drinking beverages out of a, I don't know, bottle, but... Oh man, don't teach her how to gamble! No! <laughs> this is the worst thing you should be doing to a kid! <laughs> Remember guys, gambling is an investment. You will win. You can rebuild your life. Get it twisted, bro. Remember, everybody quits right before they win big. The worst thing a fucking child can do is die. Okay, okay. I was gonna say the worst thing an adult can do is teach kids how to fucking gamble, bro. I shall hit it. Come on, hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Full send. Yo! <laughs> and now, you know what happens? When you get the first hit, 
the high of the wind, the thrill, you chase that shit. This is the worst thing for a new gambler. Because you would think that getting a win is like the best thing you could do early. And you could argue it is, if you can walk away. Oh, it's just a drink. But, um, you know, it, it gets people hooked on the high of the chase and the thrill. So they'll keep gambling, and that's where it just all goes down. Oh, Nothing like some wholesome, you know, granddaughter and grandpa time. Like, gambling. <laughs> it turned out wholesome. It's just hilarious to me that he's teaching how to gamble. <laughs> I feel like he gave it to them. Yeah, see? Nah, nah, nah. He definitely gave it to them. Maybe Ramis can feel him out. Hell no. This monster, how big is the carriage he's carrying? <laughs> Are you getting jealous? I think she is. Aww. Oh, it's her too. Booby monster. Booby monster. <laughs> Zuri, what kind of name is that? Wow. Money doesn't matter. Three generation. But isn't he? I thought the rule is that if you discover something in this dungeon, it, like it's yours. Some stumpy woman with no sex appeal. You? Wait, you're a fucking child. How do you even know all this? <laughs> okay, you shouldn't be competing with the fucking actual toddler about sex appeal. <laughs> no, stop it. No, no, uh, uh Because you called Rami's fucking booby monster? I, mother. I want to meet mother, but... <laughs> she bats her! No, total karma. She's got me flat as fuck. Mother bats her. I hope we get to see Suri's mom soon. That's hilarious. What do you want to do with Boxo, though? Is she just so lonely she wants Boxo around at home to hang out with? Uh, Suri is cute. She's funny. I want to see mom. Dad is, I guess, just busy and rich and ignoring her. All thanks to Boxo. Oh, psych, I was there. I listened to everything. Oh. Rami and Boxo, this is the ship, guys. This is the actual ship. I just keep thinking, like, how could Rami and Boxo make love? I'm sure Rule 34 Art is out there, but it's like, it's a vending. No, no way. Boxo can transform into different objects. I don't think he can turn into a dildo, but <laughs> the dude fucking turned into a condom dispenser. Shirley was so mature about it, but the entire time I'm like, hey, yo. She's like, oh, what is this? It's all sticky. I'm like, oh my god. Another fun thing to know is that there's like, oh, I should have already known because a guild director is like a bear, but there's other actual full on animal people here. Furries are eating good. Uh, where are we going from here on out? We got to meet that girl that's been mentioned. I forgot her name. You know, the magical engineer girl that didn't respond to us yet. She's being pretty hyped up. I don't know when we're going to do that. We got to know more about the magical circle, the transfer circle or something, and about how this place is all just a dungeon. They talk about, they briefly mention these like plot mechanics here and there, but then make us kind of forget with all these different random shenanigans, like the contents or whatnot, but pretty fun so far. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.